Hey everybody, Jeff here again today. Uh, today it is what, March 9th, 2018. It's around 12 o'clock. And I've had a lot of requests for this and something that's very, very important and something that each and every one of you should know and should actually really consider. You need to understand what a will is and what a health care power of attorney is. They're two separate things. You also need to know and understand that places like Illinois are a probate state. Now, why am I telling you all this? Because people that live in Illinois that do not have a will or a health care power of attorney, when anything happens to you, whether you're in a coma, uh, you get the wrong medications, you die, uh, you get an accident, and things go in front of a court, you have to understand that everything about you goes in front of a probate judge. Now, what does probate mean? Probate means you're not in charge of anything unless you have a will. Okay? Now, why is it important to have a will? Well, anymore, wills are very, very simple. They're very, very easy to set up. They're very easy to do. People can get them through me. They can get them through anybody else. But here's what a will does. It basically lets your loved ones know that you thought about enough of them to basically put down everywhere from things that they can get to your last wishes to if there is a wreck or an accident to how you want to be treated if you're in a coma. You know, a will is something that is acting on your behalf when you are unable to. And when you do a will in like Illinois and it goes to probate, a judge will always honor the will. If you don't have a will, that means a family member can come out of the woodwork and try to argue stuff. Your kids can get into fights and arguments about different things. You know, it, it can get very ugly very quick. And I see it every day when somebody does not have a will done, yet they pass on, um, they get in a coma, you know, different things happen. When I joined the Marine Corps, the very first thing that they did for us when we went in the Marine Corps, because we were considered a deployable unit, is each and every one of us had to get our wills drawn up so that if anything were to happen to us while we were overseas or got called away or did anything with Air Alert, um, that we had our wills done. And a lot of people, they're scared of wills because they think by writing it, that means they're going to die. No, if you don't have a will is when the problems happen. A will is very important. Lawyers, you know, they'll write them up for you, but technically you need a will and you have to have it notarized in Illinois. Missouri, you don't need to have it notarized. Or sorry, in Missouri, you don't need to have uh, probate because there's no probate in Iowa or Missouri. However, in Illinois, there is probate. And basically what that says is you need to get your will written up. You just basically it's simple as things, putting your name, last name, you know, what you own, what you don't own, uh, what your last wishes are. Um, you can find somebody like me, you can act as a neutral party as you're doing your healthcare power of attorney. That's basically bone marrow, bones, hearts, liver, kidneys, where they go, what happens to them. You know, a lot of people don't know that when you leave your organs, you know, and you're an organ donor, um, a lot of times those organs get sold to colleges and universities. Every one of us thinks by being an organ donor, it's going to go to somebody that needs it. That's not always true. That's not always the case. So you need to put down what your intentions are for different things. Okay. You've got to do your best to have your will and power of attorney. You need to go over it all. I keep them on me at all times because I can get somebody's will done for 24 bucks. There you go. Your will's done. They'll get sent into the lawyer's. You bring it back, you have it notarized over at the library or something because it doesn't cost nothing over at the library to have it something notarized. And then you have your will completely done and taken care of and you just put it away in a safe area for later on. It doesn't matter what's going on. It's just something that's really important to me. I'll pull out a will right now. I wanted to pull over. So what a will is, is this here. <laughs> Oops. Those are all Spanish wills. I have them in Spanish also. But this is a will. It's a will worksheet. I'm going to get out my other will here. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a will. Thank you for bearing with me here for a minute, folks. There it is. Okay, this right here is a will. Okay, this is a will worksheet. And what it does with us, you can actually do your will on your phone too. Nice thing about it, if you ever go through me, you can get your will done on your phone. But it doesn't matter who you get it through. It's important that you get your will done, okay? 
So you get your will done, you open it up, and there's questions, and you have access to an attorney too with us. And basically you just go through the will, answer the questions, what's a guardian, what's a trustee, what's a joint tenant, okay? What's estate planning, you know? You know, things like that. So do you have a guardian for your children if something happens to you? What if you're a single parent, you know, and the other parent you guys don't get along with so much? Healthcare power of attorney, physical directives, the executor of your account, fiducial bond. Most people don't understand all this type of stuff, okay? And that's the reason why somebody like me exists. All you got to do is call me up and we can get your wills done, okay? But here's how a legal document appointing a person the authority to make healthcare decisions on another person's behalf, okay? That's what a healthcare power of attorney is. Physician's directive, do you know what that is? A legal document containing instructions for physicians regarding your life support preferences. I don't know if you knew this, but you have options if you're on life support, if you're not on life support. Fiduciary bond, a type of surety bond required by the courts to be filled, filed by the executor guardians to ensure proper performance of their duties as an executor. Typically waived, especially when a spouse or family member is appointed the executor director. Look, you have to appoint your husband or your wife or, you know, a guardian to do this, okay? Otherwise, a judge will do it. And he'll appoint somebody that you might not get along with, okay? But not every brother and sister out there get along. Not all friends get along, okay? You know, estate planning the same way. If you got a vehicle, I have so many people tell me within the identity theft world and within the legal world and everything else, oh, I got nothing to leave. Everybody can have what I got. It's not about what is taken. It's about the mess that's left behind. And that goes the same, not just in the identity field, but also with a will and a healthcare power of attorney. It's what you're just leaving behind that needs to be taken care of. Okay, we owe it to our kids and our grandkids. We owe it to the people that we love to make it as easy on them as possible. With a will, we do that that particular thing. Now you can call me up and we can get this taken care of right away. We get you into the system, we get your will, we get it notarized, it's done, they send you the healthcare power of attorney, we get it done, we send it in, and now you put it away for safekeeping. Okay? I know so many people out there they've They've collected stuff over the years. They have little collections that are pretty neat. You know, some people have been left um, in other people's wills, like from grandparents or great grandparents, you know, gun collections or, you know, they, they used to collect different things, bottle caps. You know, you want to know where those are going to go after you're gone or if you're laying in a hospital bed or, you know, how are the bills going to be paid? Okay. So I'm going to read this on the back here. It says to have your will prepared. First off, you'll call somebody like me. And I'm going to put my name and address and phone number and everything underneath this so that you can actually take a look at this and get a hold of me later on. We'll get your will taken care of. After completing the will questionnaire, you'll mail it to your provider law firm. But on our phones and everything, we have our wills right on our phones now. Or you can have it done right on the computer. You just push send. Now it's in the lawyer's office. They're reviewing it. They're going to send it back to you. Okay? So let's go through the steps real quick on what it takes for what. What you'll need to fill out a will. A copy of like maybe a prenuptial agreement, if, if acceptable. Name and birth dates of your children and grandchildren. The names and contact information. The person you've chosen to be the guardians of your children. The trustees of the estate and your personal uh, president of executor. Okay. To best serve you in completing your will for estate tax purposes, you'll be asked to provide the approximate dollar amount of subject items as your home, real estate, bank accounts, vehicle, retirement plans, life insurance policies, debts such as mortgage, loans, medical, or others over $5,000. Okay, great. That can get boring. I know I can put people to sleep doing this stuff, but it's something that needs to be done. Helpful information before you get started. This will questionnaire is not your will. It will help you... Your provider law firm prepare your will for you. You're filling this out and then they're going to send you it back after they type it all up and get it done the proper way. Same way if you do it on your phone. You can do it literally right on your phone with our app. We have a free app, okay, that you can do it right on your phone. I will put all this in there so that you can actually find out how to get your will done. I would like to get you guys' wills done for you. At least it's done, ready to go. You can update it once a year with our services or put it away in safekeeping and at least it's done for now. Okay, this will question is not your will. It will help you or provide a law firm prepare your will. All questions applicable must be completed in their entirety in order to have your will prepared. If you need more space to answer questions, attach a separate sheet and indicate the question number to which it pertains. If you have questions while filling out this form, don't hesitate to call the provided law firm at the number on your membership card. 
If you need the number to your firm, call member services. In other words, you call me, we can get in there, okay? Please print. Estate, everything that you own at your passing after payment of debts and taxes. You will make decisions regarding the percentage shares of your estates that you wish to your for your beneficiaries. And if you wish, you may leave specific items of property, car investments, heirlooms, or sums of money to your beneficiaries. A will, a document which provides who is to receive your property, who will administer your estate, who will serve as a guardian of your children, if applicable, and other provisions. Peace of mind, the wonderful feeling you get as your Legal Shield member after having your will prepared by a qualified law firm at a reasonable price. For your information, member and spouse filling out a separate form. In other words, you'll get one and your spouse will get one. In order to meet each person's unique needs, you must each fill out a will questionnaire. And I have them for both of you. Or it's right on your phone. You both fill one out. All right. Then as the questions go, they're going to ask for your full name, all other names which you've been known by, your membership number, your age, date of birth, sex, male, female. Are you a U.S. citizen? If no, the country that you're a citizen. Current residence, if you're married and your spouse's full name, date of birth, date of marriage. Do you or your spouse have a prenuptial agreement? Yes or no. You know, simple things like that. If either you or your spouse ha has been divorced, please answer the following questions. Date of marriage, date of divorce judgment, court rendering judgment, date of spouse's death. Have you or your spouse created any trust or made gifts through trust to others? Do you ha or your spouse expect any inheritance? If yes or no. If you have children, including the adopted children, state the following each child. I was adopted at birth, by the way. A deceased biological legal adopted child, if applicable. Deceased child, child living children, if applicable. If you have stepchildren, do you want them to be treated as the same as your naturally born or legal adopted child in your will? Um, if you have grandchildren, state the following for each. Okay, for your information, a great deal of personal information is requested in your will questionnaire. Without all the information requested, your provider law firm can't ensure your wishes will occur or that the most comprehensive estate planning options have been advised. All information you provide them will remain strictly confidential. Dear Legal Shield, I'm writing to thank you for your firm's excellent preparation of my last will and testament. My lawyers have been very professional, knowledgeable, and re responsive to my calls and questions. Due to this excellent service, I am pleased to continue using Legal Shield and to recommend it to friends, family, and business. Sincerely, a Florida member. I'm not going to say the person's name. All right, next page. I'm tell I'm going over this with you guys on here so you can see how easy it is. It like a These pages are thick. All right. Number 12, are any of your children or other beneficiary mentally or physically disabled or have special needs? If so, are they presently receiving or do they do you anticipate that they may apply for SSI benefits in the future? If your children are under age between 18 uh, under age of 18, state the following for the person you wish to act as their guardian in the event your death or in case of joint death of you and your spouse. If you do not have any minor children, please go to question 15. If at this time your death, if of your death the person's name above is or unwilling to serve as guardian, please list an alternative. Maybe somebody don't want to be. Maybe it's hurting them too bad. Do you want the appointed guardian also be the trustee of the assets and inheritance of the minor child? At what age would you like your children to take, take control from the trustee of any inheritance assets? If no, please list the person or entity you wish to act as their financial custodian. You should obtain the consent of that person or entity before executing your will. Please list an alternate in case the person is willing to answer or serve. What is a guardian? A person lawfully invested with the power and charged with the duty of taking care of the person who is incapable of doing so because of age or other incapacity. Certain states do not allow anyone other than a biological parent to be appointed as the guardian of a minor child in the event of one parent's death. Please call your provider law firm instructions from your state. Trustee, a person appointed to manage the financial affairs of the one who is legally incapable of doing so because of age or other incapacity. Joint tenants with rights of survivorship. A single property owner by two or more persons under one title with equal rights to the property at the death of one joint tenant with the property transferred to the surviving tenant. 15. Indicate how you want your assets to be passed when you die. Option A. I want my assets to be passed to my spouse, children as follows. 
to my spouse of surviving, if my spouse predeceased me, my assets will divide into equal shares to my children. If any of my children predeceased me, that child's share shall distribute to his or her children in equal shares. In the event my spouse and all my children and descendants fail to survive me, I want my assets to be distributed as follows. Option B, I am unmarried with children and want my assets to pass as follows in equal shares to my children. If one or more of my children predecease me, that child's shares in my estate is distributed to his or her child in the equal shares. In the event all my children and descendants fail to survive me, I want my assets to be distributed as follows. So you have control in all this stuff. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Option C, none of the above. I want my assets to be passed as follows. For your information, joint tenants with right of survivorship. If you own property jointly with another person as a joint tenant with the right of survivorship, your interest in that property will be passed to the survivor upon death. It will not pass according to the terms of your will. If you own property jointly with another person without the right of survivorship, your interest in that property will pass according to the provisions in your will. For your information, beneficiary designations. You should know that decisions you have already made regarding title of property will determine distribution of the property in the future. Will provisions cannot alter those decisions. A beneficiary designation is a binding contract obligation and a will provision will not alter that designation. Beneficiaries designations in life insurance policies, retirement plans, annuities, bank accounts with name, due of death, due of death, due on death, beneficiary, etc. will determine who receives those monies upon your death, not your will. For your mortgage properties, I'm going to speed up here a little bit. I just wanted to go over it real quick. Uh, do you wish to disinherit any children or grandchildren? Execution of the will is the best way to determine how your property will be distributed. Uh, if you're married, your spouse is still alive, do you want the spouse to serve as your personal representative? How many people make special provisions for family, heirlooms, jewelry, or other items of special value distribute to friends or relatives if you're such property and would like to leave in a special person's complete the following? Healthcare power of attorney, a legal document appointed a person authority to make healthcare decisions on each other's person's behalf. Physician's directive, also living will. A legal document containing instructions for physicians regarding your life support preferences. We do a living will for you. Executor, also personal representative, the person appointed a will by the test testator, person making the will to carry out the terms of the will. Fiduciary bond, a type of serenity bond required by the court to be filled out by the executor guardian to ensure proper performance of their duties as an executor. Tiffany wave, especially when the spouse or family member is appointed the executor. For your information, funeral arrangements. Rather than including your funeral wishes in your will, which often isn't read until after the funeral, it's best to make your wishes known to loved ones in writing prior to the death. Almost done. List the estimate of value of assets. List your debt in the category. Confirm it all for your information, federal taxes, for your information, state inheritance taxes, for your information, probate. Many people think that if their loved one had a will prepared, they will be able to avoid the probate process. This is not necessarily the case. Please ask your provided law firm. Okay? Look, I just want to go over that just a little bit with you. I got it in Spanish, too. If you need it in Spanish, you want it in English, whatever. We've got your wills for you. We will then send you your health care power of attorney. We get that all filled out. Get your will done. Call me at 217-316-0219. I will help get your will done. You can also go to my site, jeffreywjansen.wearelegalshield.com, and you can have your will made up. Just basically go on there. Cost costs $24.95. No enrollment fees, no contracts, no deductibles. It's $24. I'm telling you the exact cost of it right now. If you wish to continue on with your legal shield service, that's great. If not, drop it. Your will's done. And it's good for life. Every year you're a member of Legal Shield, you can update your will each year. Okay? So I recommend you get your will done to get your health care power of attorney, get it all get it all up and going, and your will will be done and ready to go. Okay? If you have questions, call me 217-316-0219. I will be putting my name my name and number in this message so that you know how to get your will done and you can call me. Let's get your will up and going. We can get it done today to where you can get it on your phone. You can do it on a phone app. You can do it on a computer as a PDF. Or you can. I will give you a physical will. This is good in all 50 states and four provinces of Canada. Okay? We will assign you a main law firm. Remember, Legal Shield. All 50 states are represented by law firms. 
in Legal Shield. I am an independent Legal Shield associate that is here to help you, but I'm a physical person. Our member services are physical people and our lawyers are all physical people. We have professions in every type of law. But right now, I want you to get your will and healthcare power of attorney completed and out and going out. My dad spent thousands of dollars after my mom died to get his will done. I'm doing that exact same thing for you for $24.95. We're gonna always be here to help you. We're physical. I can come to you or we can do it over the phone or do a Zoom or a Facebook meeting or something like that. But let's get this done and out of the way. You may not think you're important, but you are. Remember, let's get your will done. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Go ahead, and I'm getting off here. I'm getting some numbers coming in now. I'm going to go ahead and get those people taken care of, and we're going to get their wills up and going. I've been doing this for the military. I've been doing it for blue collar. I've been doing it for factory workers and businesses alike, and we're going to get your will, healthcare power of attorney, take away your estate planning. Let's get this done and over with so that you can enjoy life and never have to worry about this again. Anyway, have a good day, everybody.